And so I'm going to share my heart just for a couple of minutes. Um, I received an email that uh, used the word um, irresponsible. And um, I don't think I've been irresponsible. Uh, but I am definitely open to rebuke and I'm open to um, different opinions. I'm totally open to that. So I wanted to talk a little bit about um, uh, as we as we go towards the in-person service. Um, I'm going to watch you walk you through my logic. Uh, I'm not sure if it's unanimous logic among the staff and everything, but this is kind of the way I process things. I'm actually really good if you guys stay home for services. Uh, I'm taking this threat extremely seriously. And um, the question revolves around whether or not we wear masks or not. Uh, do we mandate masks be worn for the in-person service? And, and the decision that I made was that we would not require the mask. Maybe it's reverse psychology. Maybe, I don't know. But I will share this. Um, my, th my feeling is there are those who have communicated very clearly to me that uh, masks are not needed right now. I, I don't agree with that. All right. And even as I talked to my wife and she, she even shared with me yesterday that, you know, operating rooms have used masks for, you know, forever. <laughs> and right. It keeps down on on uh, infection. Uh, and can and and then both the person breathing out to the person being operated on or whatever, as well as uh, and that's more what masks are doing. I think they're they're more uh, just stopping what's coming out of our mouths versus what we're breathing in our nose. Uh, although I'm sure it does both. She showed me a picture of a petri dish of something with a mask, uh, someone sneezing in a petri dish uh, with a mask and without a mask, and it was horrific. What the the difference? So masks are effective, and I, and I get that. Um, and by by not requiring them is not me saying that I don't believe in masks. It's me saying there are those that want to come and they don't personally care about masks. Uh, what I'm saying is right now, if they want to come, we can do a service. We're limited in our availability in the NPR. We're figuring about 120 people out of over 400 people in regular attendance, right? We're, we're thinking only about 120 people are probably going to fit in that NPR with the social distancing guidelines. So by not requiring masks, it is basically saying if you if you don't mind other people not wearing masks, then go ahead and come. We're going to give it a try. Uh, feel Masks are still encouraged. I mean, we're not going to if you have a mask, we're certainly not going to, you know, kick you out. That's not the case. And certainly if you if you believe that masks are not essential, I would really hope you would not treat someone who's wearing a mask as if they're silly. Um, no, masks, masks do a lot, and uh, especially in an enclosed environment. Outside is one thing, inside is, is another. And I know I'm going on long with this, but this is why I wanted more people to, to sign up, because I wanted, I wanted to be very clear that we care what's going on. We're taking a lot of time and energy to figure out what's the right way to move forward. By not, Here's the gist of it. By not requiring masks, more people will stay home. That's my rationale. I think it's safer for you to stay home. Uh, we all desire to come together to be in, in, in our regular worship services. Um, so I don't hold any hard feelings towards a person who said that I'm irresponsible. From their perspective, I, I may be coming across that way. What I'm trying to share with you is I don't think I have been, but I haven't explained myself. So I thought this was a good place for me to explain it. Uh, it's okay to stay home for now. I mean, granted, long term, no, we need to get together. We need to sing. We need to fellowship. We need to have the Lord's Supper, which we're planning on having the Lord's Supper that, that, uh, that first Sunday. And, and it, it grieves me that not everybody can participate. And we're only having one in-person service that first week because we're still trying to figure out how we can do things better. Uh, will we do an, an in-person service um, with, with masks not required in the NPR? And then maybe we'll have a mask required. Someone came up with the idea of a mask required in the 
In the chapel. The, the difference is the chapel would be streaming. It wouldn't be, I wouldn't be up there preaching. Or do we do, do two services and, and we do one in the NPR and one in the, in the, uh, in the chapel. Uh, but but I, I want everybody to understand, Pastor Dave G is, and, and Melanie and others are going at, to all lengths possible to understand what the requirements are uh, so that we can make sure we're abiding by it. So um, I, I just wanted to get out there that I don't think I've been irresponsible. I think I have a certain logic that may, you may or may not agree with. Um, so, but I thought I'd explain myself a little bit more. All right. Sorry, folks, to go so long on that. I just want to, uh, to encourage you that we're heading towards a new normal, probably. But hopefully it's one a lot like the old normal, okay, uh, when it comes to our worship time together. Uh, Having said that, signups are available online, um, and then uh, more to come uh, with that.